Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, or MS, is an autoimmune disorder that causes demyelination of neurons in the central nervous system. Demyelination occurs when the body's own immune system attacks the myelin sheath, which is a protective sheath that covers nerve fibers of neurons in the brain, spinal cords, and optic nerves. The myelin sheath allows for rapid transmission of electrical impulses throughout the CNS and the body, so we can feel our sensations and perform movements. When the myelin sheath is damaged by the immune system, inflammation occurs, and it will eventually lead to plaque or scar formation in the brain and spinal cord, leading to neurological symptoms. Sclerosis means scar tissues, and multiple sclerosis means many scar tissues. It is not exactly clear what triggers the immune response in MS. However, it is thought to involve a combination of genetic susceptibility. For example, family history of MS, although it is not an inherited condition. Exposure to some viral infections such as Epstein-Barr virus can trigger the immune response. People with vitamin D deficiency or those who live in a region with low sunlight exposure are found to have a higher risk of getting MS. Smoking is also associated with higher risk of getting MS with a more aggressive disease course. MS usually develops in young adults between age 20 to 40, with women affected almost three times more often than men. There are several types of MS. The most common type is relapsing and remitting MS. It is characterized by a period of new or worsening symptoms, followed by periods of remission or absence of symptoms. Symptoms of MS vary significantly among individuals and are related to where the lesions are located and how severe the damage is. Some people can have little or no disability, while others can have a worsening course with increased disability over time. For example, people with MS can have numbness and tingling, or even nerve pain in the arms, legs, trunk, or face. Unexplained fatigue can occur in up to 80% of the case. Muscle spasm and difficulty walking and balancing. Visual disturbances such as double vision or diplopia nystagmus, or the involuntary movement of the eye. People with MS may also experience pseudobulbar affect, which is an inappropriate and involuntary expression of laughter, crying, or anger that is incongruent with their mood. For example, they may cry when they are actually happy, or they may laugh when they are sad. People with MS often have heat intolerance in which exposure to heat, or having a fever, can cause a temporary worsening of symptoms because overheating can further slow down the electrical impulses. They can also experience bladder and bowel dysfunction, cognitive impairment, and depression, anxiety. To diagnose MS, an MRI of the brain and spine can be done to look for the characteristic plaques on imaging. A lumbar puncture can be done to obtain a sample of cerebrospinal fluid to check for increased number of immune cells and specific antibodies from the autoimmune attack. An evoked potential test involves sending painless electric signals via electrodes placed on the skin to measure how quickly and accurately the CNS responds to stimulation. Interventions Treatment of MS is focused on symptom management and slowing disease progression. Disease-modifying treatments is the mainstay of MS treatment. DMT works by modifying the immune response and reducing the frequency and severity of relapse and slowing down the development of new lesions. For example, beta interferon is an injectable DMT with potential side effects of flu-like symptoms and elevation of liver enzymes. Corticosteroids are used during relapses and exacerbations to reduce severity of symptoms. Different categories of medications are prescribed for symptom management. Baclofen can be used to relax muscle spasms. Gabapentin and pregabalin are used for neuropathic or nerve pain. Modafinil is a stimulant that may help with fatigue. Fampridine can help to improve walking ability in MS. Laxatives can be taken to prevent constipation. Patients and family should be educated on avoiding heat exposure, such as hot weather, sauna, or hot tubs to avoid exacerbation of symptoms. Use cooling measures such as ice packs, cool showers, and drinking cold beverages during educate patients to stop smoking, and measures to prevent falls, such as strengthening exercises with PT and OT, use of mobility aids, and identifying fall hazards at home. In summary, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder 
that causes demyelination of neurons in the brain, spinal cords, and optic nerves, and leading to the characteristic plaque formation seen on MRI. Several risk factors has been linked to MS, including a family history of MS, viral infections such as Epstein-Barr virus, vitamin D deficiency, smoking, young adults age 20-40, especially a female gender. MS has periods of relapsing and remitting. Symptoms can range from neuropathic pain, fatigue, difficulty walking, muscle spasm, visual disturbances, and heat intolerance. Treatment of MS include use of disease-modifying treatment to slow down progression, corticosteroids to reduce severity of symptoms during relapse, and a broad category of medication to help with symptom management. Patient education including stopping smoking, avoiding heat exposure, and preventing falls.